Tonight, new details after a Chattanooga teenager was charged in the death of his own mother. Good evening, I'm Latricia Thomas. And I'm Kim Chapman. Chattanooga police say 19-year-old Garrett Baylow strangled his mom at their home Wednesday, and his father watched it all happen on surveillance video from eight hours away. We spoke to neighbors who claim they believe a lack of mental health services is partly to blame in this tragedy. Kylie Thomas explains the struggle for families to find resources. A mental health advocate tells us that families don't have much access to long term care for mental health issues here in Tennessee. She says the state needs more programs and more health care professionals to run them. Is he going to get the services he needs? I don't know. I mean, he's not a criminal. A neighborhood of people wishing there was more help. It wasn't planned, it wasn't premeditated. It's a mental health issue. Police say 19-year-old Garrett Baylau killed his mother in Chattanooga on Wednesday. Records show Garrett's father, Warren, looked at the home security footage while he was out of town. Court documents say Warren saw his son strangle his mom to death. Police found her body in the woods. It is hard for me to think about because they tried everything they could to get help for their son. And it didn't work. And it's partly because the mental health system in this country is awful. It's awful. That sentiment echoed again and again in this neighborhood, which led us to ask what help is available for a family dealing with a mental health crisis. It's very, very difficult to get any services. My own daughter, who's 19, has been on the waiting list for two and a half years. Sarah Scott is an advocate for Tennessee families dealing with disabilities or mental health issues. She says there's only one program serving this age group, and it's called Employment and Community First Choices, a Tennessee Medicaid waiver. But Scott says there are no spots available after lawmakers cut the program's funding due to COVID. It's a startling amount of people, including most of our legislators, who think that if you have a disability, there are services available to you automatically. Scott says the state desperately needs more programs and mental health professionals to create real change for families. For a list of resources for families in need, go to our website at newschannel9.com. Reporting in Hamilton County, I'm Kylie Thomas, News Channel 9. We tried to reach out to the Baylau family today, but have not heard back yet.